Well, we've got entertaining news coming up as Chris Curtis is slated to fight Jack Hermanson and uh, we got Teal out and Jack Hermanson is a heck of a grappler. You know how good he grapples, wrestles. He submitted many guys, included for example Kevin, uh, Kelvin Gastelum, Gerald Marchar, David Branch, Tali Slytas, Brad Scott, also lost to Tiago Moreto Santos, Jared Kearney and Marvin Vettori, Sean Strickland. He was losing to the elite levels of this division. On the other side, Chris Curtis survived Rodolfo Vieira for three rounds, which speaks about his great ability to win uh, inside, uh, to win, uh, to win uh, on judges' scorecards, 5 foot 10, 75 inches of reach for Chris Curtis, Jake Hermanson, 6 foot 1, 77.5 inches. Hermanson is not a striker, so 29.8 on the other side, 29.8 for Chris Curtis, he is the former CS MMA welterweight champ and he competed at PFL, so he's got experience, a lot of experience. And right now, believe it or not, he is on an 8 fight win streak with back-to-back -back wins over Claus, Helen and Vieira in the UFC. I like two options here. I like Hermanson via submission and I like Chris Curtis via KO TKO. Is it easy to knock out Hermanson? Well, it's not easy. It's pretty much hard because Mario Vettori was unable to. The last knockout happened against Jared Kanania. Prior to that, uh, Thiago Santos was able to do that. Ferreira arm triangled him, but Hermanson is a very hard guy to finish. Can't say. So I'm giving them even chances. I think this is a 50 50 fight. If I must pick a side range, I would go with Curtis KO TKO. But Hermanson's submission, I like that too. This guy survived uh, Rodolfo Vieira, so to me Rodolfo Vieira is better than uh, Hermanson, so yeah, not going to distance, going to be my pick.